Okay guys, welcome back to another video. This time we're going to be taking a look back at the Mercedes-Benz Special Model Saga on Gran Turismo 2. It's a topic that I've covered in part before, but you know what, I think it deserves its own video. Okay, let's get started. And to do so, we need to go back to a time before Gran Turismo 2 was ever released. In fact, a long time before. The game was released in December 1999, but like usual, screenshots, demos, videos and more were released months prior to this date. Some of the earliest ever screenshots of Gran Turismo 2 that were made public looked like this. We got to see the Mini, as well as the standard and rally versions of the Lancer Revolution. We also got a glimpse of another car, one that got us Gran Turismo fans pretty excited back in the day, and it was this, the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR. I've tried to find an accurate date of when these screens were first released, and I've come up with a bit of an estimation. I have a Tokyo Game Show press disc from March 1999, which has a lot of the early screenshots included, barring the shots of the CLK GTR. The folder that the photos are in is dated the 25th of February 1999, so we would have likely seen the CLK GTR around this time as well. I also have the 68th edition of Edge magazine, which we'll talk about more later in the video. That has some screenshots of the CLK GTR in it, and it's dated February 1999. So I think we can assume that the car was shown and then probably cut are all around the same time. The CLK GTR featured in the 1997 and 1998 seasons of the FIA GT Championship, where I believe it was replaced some way through the 1998 season by the CLK LM, its successor. The CLK which was intended to appear in Gran Turismo 2 seems to be based on the model from the 1997 season, specifically the number 11 car which was driven by Bernd Schneider predominantly, with the second driver of the car rotating between Alex Wurtz, Klaus Ludwig and Agori Suzuki at different rounds. It was the version with yellow wing mirrors driven by Schneider which can be seen in the screenshots. There's also a version of the car with blue wing mirrors, which I believe is also from the 1997 FIA season, with the number 10 car with blue wing mirrors being driven primarily by Alessandro Nanini and Marcel Tiemann. Except that the livery doesn't quite match the real life car. It's almost a carbon copy of the car driven by Schneider, just with blue wing mirrors. In real life, the number 10 car had D2 logos on the bonnet, but Warsteiner logos on the side, whereas the number 11 car had DT logos in both places. Incidentally, the Warsteiner logo on the front bumper of the car would have likely been censored had it appeared in the final game, due to it being an advert for alcohol. Anyway, so the CLK GTR is widely believed to have been the original Mercedes-Benz special model, which was intended to appear in Gran Turismo 2. Of course, we do have to consider that it could have been a prize car as well. But, that's not where the CLK GTR story ends. I released a video titled, The Cut Cars We Never Saw, a couple of years ago now. And at the time, the website The Cutting Room Floor had reported that there was a screenshot that showed the CLK GTR without all the sponsors like D2 and Warsteiner. So I think I wrongly assumed that this was the road version of the CLK GTR, which was available in real life, as a requirement of homologation rules. As there wasn't any photographic evidence of this screenshot online, just its text description. At some point, this description of the screenshot had been changed. This is what it says now. A different version of the car was shown on a memory card sticker set bundled in a January 2000 edition of the PlayStation magazine in Japan, and on issue 68 of Edge magazine, where it lacks D2 Privat logos on the side. Armed with this information, I went and bought a copy of the 68th issue of Edge magazine on eBay, 
as I figured it'd be easier to obtain than a PlayStation magazine from Japan with its memory card stickers intact. And for the first time ever, and maybe even the first time for you guys as well, here is the screenshot in question. And, and you might be like, no Matt, I have seen this before because you put it in the video's thumbnail. But anyway, I think I understand what's going on here. This appears to be the CLK GTR from the 1997 season of the FAA GT Championship, the number 10 car, with blue wing mirrors, except it's missing its Warsteiner logos on the sides. So weirdly, what we can see is that the developers were seemingly planning to include two different liveries from the 1997 FIA GT Championship, but in the end just kept the one livery and added two different colours of wing mirrors for it. What do you guys think? So the CLK GTR was widely believed to be the original Mercedes-Benz special model, but why didn't we get to drive it? Well, we can't be sure, but fans think that the reason is because EA held the licensing to the car at the time, and the CLK GTR road car would appear in the Need for Speed High Stakes game, which was also called Need for Speed Road Challenge in Europe. Funnily enough, there was a cut racing modification for the CLK GTR on that game too. EA's licensing is also thought to be the reason why Porsche wasn't in the Gran Turismo series of games at this time as well. And while we wouldn't officially drive a Porsche until Gran Turismo Sport was released, despite having the roof dealership on Gran Turismo 2 and beyond, and also despite there being a cut 911 on Gran Turismo 3, we would at least get the Mercedes-Benz CLK LM on Gran Turismo 3, the CLK GTR's successor. As the CLK GTR was cut so early on in development, the Gran Turismo 2 team weren't going to give up on a Mercedes special model that easily. Instead, they devised a replacement. And their ideal replacement would be the C-Class touring car that featured in the 1994 to 1996 seasons of DTM, as well as the International Touring Car Championship. The first mention of this car comes from the Gran Turismo 2 Test Drive demo disc, which dates back to the 21st of September 1999, a fair few months after the CLK GTR was cut. Here, the car only appears as a text string. It has an Altezza body as a placeholder, but at least we can see the car's intended name, the Benz C-Class 95 DTM model. In the 1995 DTM season, the D2 AMG Mercedes team had two drivers, Bernd Schneider and Dario Franchitti. Franchitti finished fifth in the driver's standings, while Schneider won the championship. This car actually remains in the files of the final, released version of Gran Turismo 2, and we can see that the developers even got as far as creating a nameplate for it. By now, the car's name had been changed to the C-Class Touring Car. However, it had actually lost its in-garage name, and also its replay name as well. On the final game, it's just called Delete, which is probably a reference for the developers just to make sure they didn't actually get included in the final game. But, alas, it wasn't actually deleted. Also, it still had something of a placeholder body, Weirdly, it was a Nissan Primera, or an Infiniti G20 in the US, with an unfinished Vodafone logo on the bonnet, and the wheels from the Mazda RX-7 GT Turbo 83. Interestingly, two of the C-Class's main rivals from the 1995 DTM season do appear in the game. The Opel and Vauxhall Calibra touring car, which are pretty much the real-life licensed cars, and the Alfa Romeo 155 touring car. The shape of this car very much resembles the 1995 DTM car, but the design was seemingly made for the game. Anyway, for whatever reason, the 1995 CLK DTM was cut from the game before its release as well. However, the performance data that was made for this car wouldn't necessarily be going to waste. The developers likely thought at the time, as they had one last stab at creating a special model for the Mercedes-Benz dealership on Gran Turismo 2. Their final attempt was the Mercedes-Benz CLK race car, 
and you may now be familiar with this car, as despite it being cut before the game's release, it still remains in the game's code and can be accessed by using cheat codes. For this reason, it's featured in a fair few YouTube videos over the years, including several of my own. It would have cost 1 million credits to purchase originally, hence the sale price being 250,000 credits, a quarter of the purchase price. The CLK GTR was originally thought to have been created by the developers from scratch, like something of a precursor to Vision Gran Turismo. However, it has since been revealed that this car was most likely modelled from Mercedes-Benz CLK DTM 2000 concept car. One of the most compelling reasons is that it bears a very close resemblance to it. Since it was, it was created prior to the 2000 DTM season, it would have been around during the time that Gran Turismo 2 was in development. Also, the cutting room floor states that the Japanese manual that came with the game mentions the Mercedes-Benz CLK DTM 2000 in the car list, which I think we can safely assume refers to this car. Now, do you remember when I said that the performance data for the C-Class Touring car was possibly reused? Well, it's believed that it was recycled and given to the CLK race car. It actually performs very similarly to the Opel Calibra Touring car and the Alfa Romeo 155 Touring car, except that the CLK race car has phenomenal brakes. On the PAL and NTSC versions of the game, the car does have a nameplate but not an in-garage name or a replay name. In the home garage, it's just two dashes. But those two dashes are racing modified. On the Japanese version of the game, however, it does indeed have a name, which you can see on screen here. Again, we can only really guess as to why this car was cut. Perhaps it was to do with EA's licensing as well. At least we were able to drive the Mercedes-Benz CLK touring car from the 2000 DTM season on Gran Turismo 4. But sadly, we'd never see the concept car ever again. So there we have it guys. Three separate Mercedes-Benz special models, or maybe prize cars, that were all cut during the development of Gran Turismo 2. Sadly, we didn't end up getting a single Mercedes special model or prize car, and only one Merc was treated to a racing modification. I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time.